A Metro Detroit credit union along with the FBI and four local police agencies are looking for some crafty thieves. They attack automatic teller machines all across the area with brute force and pretty quick timing. Local 4 tonight bringing you this exclusive first look at how these robbers are getting away with the cash. Rod Maloney has this report from Milford. Rod. So this theft happened over a week ago here in Milford. The police tape still up. The markings from where the ATM was destroyed still on the ground. And it turns out it's going to be months before they can get this back to normal. Milford PD pictures show us the July 6th theft. The ATM pulled over on its side and emptied. The thieves in and out in under six minutes. Today, there's rubber still on the ground there. Community Choice Credit Union Marketing Director Jenny Ludwigs and telling Local 4 they target so-called island machines. It's more difficult for machines that are built into walls, for example, or machines that are built into structures. They've hit four communities so far, getting at least $26,000 from successful Milford and Troy thefts. They ran away empty handed from the Royal Oak and Livonia attempts. Here's the video of the April Livonia try. A stolen heavy duty pickup backs up to the machine. One guy attaches hooks and chains and they pull the machine over. In this case, though, the cash doors fell face down. The machine too heavy to lift, so they quickly ran away to another getaway car. Milford Police Detective Chris Lapari saying late night drivers should watch out for these guys. Once they're stolen, they are uh, loading up the chains ahead of time. Um, so if somebody sees a heavy duty pickup truck with chains hanging off the back, driving around, you know, midnight, two in the morning, they need to call their local police department and let them know right away. We're exposed to the supply chain issues, just like everyone else when it comes to replacing these machines. Right now, the lead time to get a machine that's been destroyed back up and running is 60 to 90 days. Now, one thing we do know is that this, uh, this group uh, doesn't appear to be local, but they're not sure because this is happening in other places. But we did get word tonight that there is the possibility that in the Troy theft, they think they found a suspect. We'll keep you updated. Back to you. Sure will. All right, Rod.